He used to head Jamaa Islamiyah's East Java military wing. Now Maulana Yusuf Wibisono serving a 10-year sentence for stockpiling explosives for an attack on Australia's embassy in Indonesia gives religious lessons to fellow inmates in Porong prison. But while preaching piety, is he also recruiting new followers to the cause of jihad? Researcher Taufik Andri thinks it's quite likely he studies extremism in Southeast Asia. Pada konteks terorism, dia bisa menjadi school of radicalism. In the context of terrorism, prison is a school for radicalism. Kita temui orang-orang yang in prison we found many inmates who have strong ideologies. And because they have the responsibility to preach, they automatically propagate their ideas to anyone. The warden at Parong says he's moved to limit the influence of radicals, restricting access to Block F, which houses men convicted on terror charges and imposing tighter supervision on their activities. He granted the Associated Press entry to the prison to show the impact his changes have made. But his actions have triggered protests and threats, and the AP found radicals were still openly courting other convicts. Indonesian authorities have been battling terrorism in earnest since hundreds died in the bombing of a nightclub on the tourist island of Bali back in 2002. The global significance of their campaign was underlined again this year, when a suspect in the attack was arrested in January in the same town in Pakistan where Osama bin Laden was killed. Indonesia's crackdown has sent hundreds to prison, but dozens are scheduled to be released in the coming years. Justice Minister Patrialis Akba says that doesn't worry him. There are indeed some of them who are coming back, and we do not turn a blind eye to it because it's there. Our task is to give awareness to them. If they do not repent, it's up to them. Still, a number of prisoners at Parang told the AP they plan to fight for Islam overseas after their release. It's an illustration reforming militants is a worldwide challenge with no one-size-fits-all solution. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.